Hello, everyone. James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. We are out here in the beautiful mountains of New Mexico, just enjoying the beautiful weather, enjoying the woodlands. We're taking a break from the desert. And I wanted to just take it easy today, and we're going to be doing some camp cooking. It's been a while since we've done one of those. And we recently ac accidentally created this, and it's actually really good. So what we're going to be making today is... Uh, hold on, it's a mouthful to say. Cheese stuffed bacon wrapped green chili hot dogs. Uh, it sounds very complex, it's really not. It's fairly simple to make and it came out really good. So instead of using bread, instead of using a bun, we're gonna actually roast some green chili and that's gonna be the bread. And then of course it's gonna be stuffed with pepper jack cheese wrapped in peppered bacon and uh, it's gonna be in a hot link. So it's gonna be quite spicy, but very delicious. So I hope you guys are tuning in. I hope you guys are hungry. Thank you for joining us. Let's get started. Okay, so we're getting our fire nice and hot. We're breaking down the wood into a nice bed of coals. In the meantime, let's go ahead and discuss our ingredients. So we're gonna be using green chili or Anaheim peppers. Uh, as they're also called, uh, they're, they're basically gonna be our bread. So we're gonna roast them and we're gonna make them into our bread. Uh, that holds the, the rest of the food. And we have four here because it's two and two. Two for me and two for Cuervo. You know, it all depends on how many people you're gonna have. And then of course we have some hot links here. You can use hot links, you can use uh, cheddar worst or even regular Franks, whatever you wish. I like these because they're a little bit uh, more substantial and they're also very spicy. I love spicy food. Then for our cheese, we're gonna have jal jal jalapeno and habanero jack. And then down here we have our peppered bacon. So we're gonna be dining like kings out here. And that's about it. Other than that, we have ourselves a cutting board, we have ourselves our knife, and pretty soon we're gonna be placing these over the hot coals. Oh, and I almost forgot, toothpicks as well. Anytime you're dealing with bacon wrapped anything, uh, toothpicks makes, it's just so much easier. Just make sure that they're not coated toothpicks with mint or what, what, whatever though. Uh, just typical wooden toothpicks, and then when you're done, just throw them in the fire. Well, we still have flames. I'm gonna place the grill so we can begin charring our green chili. Okay, and this, by the way, I get this question all the time. This grill I bought at Albertsons, just the, they came two for like five bucks. Uh, they go in your oven, um, but I use them for when, you know, when we're out here, it just makes things a little easier. Okay, then I have a little bit of water and I'm going to rinse the green chili. I um, always wanna rinse your vegetables or your fruit, your, your produce. You buy it after you buy it from the store. So just a little bit just to knock off whatever may be on there. And then we're gonna place these right on here. And then we're gonna be turning turning them constantly, just rotating them. So the skin, the outer skin loosens up. Okay, we've let these bad boys roast for about 10 minutes. They are just about ready, like this. Nice chart outside. And I'm gonna place them in a plastic bag and leave them there for about 10, 15 minutes. And it just makes peeling just a lot easier. So put them in the bag, close it up, and let them cool down in there in their own moisture. And it just it's just so easy. So we're gonna put these away and we're gonna start working on our, uh, the rest of the stuff. Okay, time to start slicing up our ingredients. So I'm gonna start slicing up some pieces of the jalapeno habanero cheese. It's up to you how much you wanna add. I love cheese. Cheese and green chili. That's my bread and butter right there. That should be pretty good. Okay, so we're cutting into the link 
not all the way through, but just pretty deep in there. Not enough to slice it in half. And then place your cheese in there. I like two of them, like that. Okay, so they're cooking. We're gonna let them cook for about 15 minutes. We just wanna make sure that, you know, everything's fully cooked. And um, what I like about putting two toothpicks is it makes it easier to just alternate and turn them around, uh, switch sides and all that stuff, just to make sure everything's getting evenly cooked. Oh, yeah, looking good so far. Okay, so our bacon wrapped hot dogs are have been cooking for about 15 minutes. We're still leaving them on the fire just to make sure everything's cooked. Now we have to bring out our green chili. And yeah, this is a little hack that I learned. It just makes things easier. When you leave it in the bag, it just becomes so much easier to just pull this off. Check that out. You don't have to get everything off, but uh, most of it, and this is fine. So this one's good. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, and by the way, just to let you guys know how we came upon this idea, um, when we're out filming, we're honestly out there away from the town for about four hours sometimes, sometimes longer. So we get hungry and, in, you know, we were spending a lot of money, you know, stopping at drive throughs and Burger King and all that stuff. And, you know, it gets expensive when you're doing, you know, filming twice a week. So in order to save money, we started, you know, just kind of cooking there when we had a fire already outdoors. And one time we decided to do these uh, links, I completely forgot to bring the bread. I slacked it on that. And we just improvised and uh, Corvo just thought of this idea of just using these as uh, as the bread substitute and uh, it worked and they came out really delicious and not only does that save you from having to carry bread which you know bread can be a little bit fragile because you could just smush it um, or you know you know for those people who are inclined for the the keto diet and you know you're trying to avoid carbs or whatever the case may be this works as well uh, me personally I'm trying to lose weight this summer um, you know no, there's nothing I'm not obese or anything, but, you know, it's nice to lose a couple pounds. So uh, I've been kind of cutting down on bread regardless. So this was just a happy accident. And look, they're already peeled, ready to go. You don't have to get every piece. It's fine. Okay, and I turned our cutting board the other way around. So the part where I was slicing the bacon and all that, all that stuff, it's on the other side. Anyway...
You can remove the seeds if you wish. I personally don't. I like the seeds. I think they add flavor. And I believe that's where all the nutrients are anyway. So, you know, that's good. Dogs on over. First one. Place it in here. There we go. Don't tell me that doesn't look awesome right there. Damn, that looks good. All right, folks, so my favorite part, the taste test. So check this out. Habanero and jalapeno cheese, peppered bacon, a hot link, roasted green chili. I mean, man, that looks delicious right there. Just don't forget to remove the toothpick. I don't know if you noticed, but I used one of the toothpicks that I used with the links, and I just stabbed it through just so it can retain its shape. We don't need that anymore. So, bottoms up. Oh man, that is delicious. You guys gotta try this out. This is really good. I mean, they're so it's so juicy, it's so damn good. Apologies, I'm looking like a savage right now, just devouring this, but this is just so good and it's just so simple I mean when you really do the math it doesn't take that much in fact when we bought these ingredients I think we probably spent about 20 bucks if that and it's feeding two grown men and it's very simple to make I mean this is really good really delicious I mean we've obviously made several of these before but I think this one to that that peppered bacon just just takes it over the edge it's just really good stuff guys really great Damn, after that last shot, we actually took a break and started eating. We damn near finished them all, so we saved one last one for the conclusion. Um, and I'm going to enjoy it with an ice-cold Pepsi and just enjoy myself out here. Beautiful. I mean, summer is just around the corner, guys. Everybody ha should be getting outside. Nobody has any excuse to not be getting outside, having adventures, and eating great food. And I am loving this. This uh, We are notorious for loving green chili on this channel. And you guys know that we're always eating green chili stew when we're camping, particularly during the cold months. So I, I'm thinking this is going to be taking the place of the green chili stew during the warmer months, making some hot dogs. And once again, it was a really, it was a happy accident, guys. It's really delicious, very simple to make. If you're trying to do a low carb diet, this works very well. Or you know, just less ingredients to bring saves you some time. So once again another camp cooking video and we will be making a playlist i have a playlist at the end of this video so you guys can check out our other recipes as well so that's about the conclusion guys thank you guys for joining us if you did enjoy this go ahead and give us a thumbs up and you guys better damn try it and comment down below what modifications did you make how did you switch up the formula did you add this ingredient instead or you know just let us know i would love to see everybody's variations guys so thank you all so much for the support you know, it means the world to us. And um, we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.